Hello, welcome to Trials Talk, Funk's Trials Podcast, where I'm inviting builders and riders on the show to give their insight into how they either became a great builder or a great rider. Hopefully helping other builders out there or other skilled riders enjoy the game that much more. So, on with the show. Today we have the one and only Vegas Trash. So without further ado, here's the man himself. Well, thank you, Funk. I appreciate you having me on your exclusive show on interviewing people for Trials, playing three years on Trials Fusion. Uh, it's been a delight over the years uh, conversing with you and, and battling online. <laughs> uh, I'm sure I'm sure the fans of yours have really enjoyed uh, some of the streams. Um, I can imagine and, it. Uh, more so your tracks and, and really a lot of uh, good contributions to the community. So I uh, appreciate that. Okay then. Um, okay, now now the introductions are out of the way. Let's get down to some serious trials meet. So, Vegas Trash, being such a skilled rider, what makes you want to replay a track? Well, what I like uh, about trials tracks are pinwheels in the background, as you know. The more pinwheels <laughs> in the background, the more I play a trials track. No, but uh, I mean, obviously, you know, the the drive line, you know, is a big one for. You know, most uh, people have been playing the game for a long time. You know, it, it, something that's yeah, short, the, you know, yeah. something in between, you know, 30, 30 and 40 seconds where it's challenging, but it's not, sma- you know, smashing your face in a wall. Usually fault on a track, like fault on an object like seven, eight times, I just quit now. I mean, back in the day, I didn't, I guess. But, you know, if it's above my skill level, I don't actually try to improve my skill there. I just, you know, but as far as what makes it addictive, I don't know, just uh, something where it's not, you know, redundant objects, redundant obstacles, uh, all, yeah, or a track that's fast, you know, a track that's very mm-hmm. quick is also tends to be addictive. So, so you definitely at least, at least a medium, easier lines. I can't even really play them, even if they're good. They're just yeah. Good. So you're definitely so. A, a driving line man then. Oh yeah, I mean everybody likes the core too, but you know, I think uh, the drive line keeps uh, people who enjoy trials for a long time coming back. That's what it's about. So, uh, moving on, how did you learn or gain your skill level? For example, was it just um, constant play, you know, or maybe recreating obstacles in the editor that were uh, you found difficult? It's been a lot of years of playing with myself that has <laughs> made me so good at trials. Usually nobody else around. And every now and then somebody comes back and I need to turn it off and, you know, because somebody else is in the room. But, yeah, uh, just, I mean... Y- I don't know. You know, building actually, I think, really helps um, you as a rider. Yeah, really. I mean, if you're building tracks that, you know, you know what I'm talking about. Like, you know, if you're building just like right in your skill level or a little bit above, it allows you to think of different ways to hit obstacles. Um, like the extreme tracks that are in trials, the techniques that are used there, I mean, the, those tracks are just brilliantly made. Um, so. What I was trying to say was, haven't you come across like an obstacle where you maybe, you know, find really, really difficult that, you know, you couldn't sort of recreate yourself at that time. So you just copied it and put it in your editor and we, you know, went that's, over it and over it and over it. That's actually a really good idea, which I've never done, uh, but should. But as far as like, uh, you know, technique for getting better at a certain tracks, I think it's always good to break it down by obstacle. So instead of, you know, you know, going back to the beginning yeah, yeah. and saying, oh, screw it, I'm going to start over, you know, nail that obstacle, figure yeah. out what you're doing wrong, which is hard to do because, you know, if you've watched anybody mm-hmm. smash their face in playing trials, <laughs> they'll, they'll usually do the same thing over and over and over, and yeah. they won't they won't change their approach to it, you know. And a lot of times people always, you know, somebody who's newer to the game will just, you know, gas the hell out of it and think that, you know, you just it's about speed and you know, a lot of time it's most of the time it's actually yeah. not, you know, it's so just your approach to the obstacle. W- would you suggest to uh, actually go by checkpoints then, you know what I mean? So we just return to each checkpoint each time rather than restarting the old yeah. track constantly until you're like really yeah. sort of you know, quite knowledgeable about the whole driving line. I think yeah, I mean yeah, <laughs> if you're going for, you know, your your best time that's that's probably a, a good approach i know uh some some real good riders uh before they, we had tournaments back in the day they kind of did away with the traditional tournaments which i'd like to see in the next title by the way uh i'm not sure what they know there, work at work at uh red links we'd like to see those uh tournaments back the traditional ones but a lot of people they would you know, run each track 10 times until they i don't, I don't know some like crazy formula whatever i mean i want to be that strict <laughs> yeah. about it but you know but anyway yeah uh, uh, by uh 
per checkpoint is a way to go, especially when you get stuck on that one, you know, get that object dialed and see yeah. what you're doing wrong okay. and then come back to that. Okay, yeah, trust me. So we've had a, a few questions on, uh, you know, you as a rider. So um, speaking of you as a, a, a builder, what have you uh, found difficult to learn, you know, in the building side of the game? Okay, the building side, uh, yeah. which is, I mean, primarily what draws me to the game. I don't know, the, yeah, the playing yeah. is pretty fun too, though, but... You know, I mean, yourself also, you know, probably the number of hours, probably like 90% building and 10% riding is my guess, you know, or maybe even higher. Um, so as far as uh, what have I found most difficult about building, I mean, without a doubt is theme, building out a theme. And <laughs> I mean, I remember back in like Evo, um, you know, it's funny, like the other day in, in your stream, you know, we we're talking a little bit about you yeah, know, yeah, endings we did that, yeah. and like endings that aren't really that great and kind of dull and you know it's funny because i'm thinking back and i used to spend quite a bit of time like linking tiles and you know i'm going to have this happen at the end and the boat's going to take off and the camera's going to come over here and yeah it's just like a progressive it's almost like a progressive disease you know it's like it doesn't i, I mean those those are they're fun to look at but at the end of the day it's like does it really make a track better uh, Not necessarily then, most I... people don't really care about mm -hmm. an ending but it's it's like it's just you know it's for the enjoyment of creating which is why most builders that's it yeah create. Was, it's I not must admit, about the hours you know what i mean okay yeah. yeah yeah i must admit when i when i'm sort of playing a track and i get to the end of a track i very rarely watch the ending even though i'm i'm a one for creating endings myself it's just happy though it's, you it's just a, you quickly sort of just end it that's it you move on don't you and when you're just creating something and then just you keep getting ideas no matter how bad the idea is the bottom line is you have ideas, whereas a lot of times you do go to the editor and you have zero ideas, which <laughs> yeah, is actually I've been there. Yeah, quite awful. Definitely. <laughs> and then, you know, you don't get frustrated. Yeah, it just, I mean, that happens with anybody making something. So once you start getting in that a creative space, it's just, you just let it go. And then next thing you know, four hours later, I'm like, yeah, there we go. Take <laughs> that. <it. laughs> you know, yeah. you know, take that editor, you know, and or ending whatever. So. Okay. Then. So. So you found okay. um, the theme and stuff like that quite sort of difficult to sort of build the, upon the and sort of and, grow upon. And drive lines oh, and, also. Oh, I mean, as far as, I mean, like the, the whole <laughs> thing really. But, uh, I mean, if you think about drive lines, you know, to have like a proper drive line where you, just basic stuff, you know, not using custom cameras, that's, it, it seems so obvious to me now. Yeah. But, you know, it still took a yeah, few I'm, years of I'm building there. before I realized cameras are nine times out of ten. They're awful. As far as, you know, maybe being more immersive or like, hey, look at my dragon. Like, that's great. But, you know, it doesn't, it doesn't really does not make the track any better, especially any camera block. That's a, a total disaster there. But making a challenging balanced driveline definitely takes quite a bit of time or took quite a bit of time. And not having, for me, difficulty spikes because yeah. it may be easy to you, but to well, somebody else. So I think it's going to be aware of your own level when you're creating a line. And either dumb it down and make it a little easier so everybody can pass it, rather than like, oh, I'm gonna really nail him with this obstacle. Yeah, it does yeah, not I'm make your track that. better. It just maybe feeds your ego. Like you see a lot of you know things on there on uh, Track Central where it's. So when you when you started building, did you focus on specific areas that you found yourself you know to start off not very good at? Did you actually sort of focus on them when tackle. you went into a build or tackle? Yeah. Yeah. Did I kind of like focus on certain tasks? Yeah, um, yeah, 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 definitely, yeah. You, I'd have to actually almost go back to infancy to really think about it. It's so many years ago, and because of my glue <laughs> sniffing when I was younger, I don't really remember yeah, too yeah, much yeah. now. So even go back a week is hard. But I would, I, I, I would say, yeah, I made a conscious effort at a point to like let me, you know, focus on theme, and uh, and I mean, driveline's always been a thing too. And uh, you know, you don't, you don't know why earlier on. You know, it's really good to get feedback and talk to other people. Who know yeah, how to build I think uh, I think and, that's uh, very important. Shortcut, that you know? I think uh, it's some feedback. You definitely need some feedback. You can never know if you're going wrong, and you can continue to just go and, wrong. Right. So. And for and just to add quickly on that is uh you know like when I first started building you know I, I think I used like I don't know like twelve custom cameras on the track and like HD which is just insane, but it looked cool to me. Then in Evo I I did a lot of animating like a lot of a lot of physics objects right yeah which is great if you mm -hmm. know the track and you know the physics objects but if somebody's just playing it for the first time then it could be <laughs> not great unless they're hitting that physics object consistently at the same speed so that's like not a lot of physics tracks out there though so uh, no 
Um, I mean, I, I suppose fusion I kept with a standard no physics on the line at all, and basically in light animation too. And my tracks actually somehow rated better. Anyway, I've noticed that with my as my skill level sort of progressed, you know, further and further. I've noticed like that. Now I'm sort of looking at and doing different skills in a better way. I'm sort of not wanting that custom camera to be there. You know what I mean? As, as when I used to, mm -hmm. yeah, at the start off, it was like, oh, yeah, this is fun and cool. But now it's not cool because I'm actually a bit more skillful. So I'm actually doing it the right way as to opposed mm -hmm. to when you do it the wrong way when you're not skilled. Yeah, you're, you're basically saying as your skill goes up as a rider, you can create yeah. better lines and you realize why things don't work. Yeah, I agree. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there's not that many sort of uh, skill tracks in the track center at the moment. Anyway, we are sort of later on in the game. So, so that actually, that brings yeah. me to um, the next thing I want to ask you is what uh, keeps you building this far into the game? I've, you know, is it just uh, addiction or? I would say uh, mental illness, definitely mental, mental illness. Mental illness, yeah. can't, can't stop. It goes yeah. in streaks, though, you know, like, you know, you know, I create other things, too. But the thing with trials is like, you know, it's something where you can create and other people could actually see what you've created as opposed to and well rate it or you know uh and interact with it too you know so how many yeah. things you know in life can you create and just have thousands of people look at even if they are you know 10 year olds or whoever it is whichever i mean it didn't stop like justin bieber right from like well it's not that, that it's not me it's, right to, to a build it's, it's not like the age difference it's just it's a it's a, a thumbs up on the screen isn't it so you know and that is well, that's what you get back I'll, also to add, yeah, it's uh, I mean, it's it's great to get you know feedback from people and uh, just to see like you know all the runs that people have done and you know even if you make a harder track, you're like, oh my god, look at this guy, 350 times he smashed his face just to finish my track. <laughs> yeah. And you're like, that that's like that's great. I mean, it's Definitely. like you know, it's uh, yeah, it's like inspiring to uh to create something and have people well basically interact and see it, you know, as opposed to you yeah. know the guy you know painting something you know in his garage and he's like well look sweetie i just finished that and I'm like yeah oh, that's I mean, great dear yeah. Yeah, put it on the bin of the other crap that nobody looks at <laughs> you know so it's just like it's it's like a bonus you know plus it's just uh it's like you have the decor which is more like the artistic side and then the technical side is one of the drive lines so depending on you know what side of the brain you like using uh you know you have people who are geared more yeah, towards drive line versus decor yeah so it's, it's, a, it's, it's, it's bottom line is it's a challenge when you go into a build it's a challenge to make everything work definitely and yeah i agree and c create a convincing theme or i'll say mood because a lot of mine are are not full-on themes i'm not a big theme builder you know i don't like like oh i'm going to build an airport i'm going to build a western ranch or you know now yeah. i just throw freaking trees trees on a hill and call it a track well i mean like you can be, <laughs> that can but, be forgiven which, when you play the game for so long so you know I, yeah well also when they're I, so few people building, you feel like, why well, put in the time? Kind of. Well, that, that's one of the ma major points to it, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, like, mm -hmm. like you say about the interaction, you know, I, w I would have liked to have seen the light where you could uh, sort of vote on a f the f decor uh, and the theme and the driving line separately. You know, like you said, they, were, they, were, they had in Evo. Yeah, well, no, Evo <laughs> was just a one to five rating. So one to five oh, stars so, you were rated. Oh, but, oh, okay. Yeah. And then now it's like the like dislike, which is, yeah, yeah. it's, I mean, it's what it is. I mean, but, you know, definitely in the fu a future yes. title, I would definitely like to see decor, drive Yeah, that's line, it, definitely, yeah. And then fun factor, addictive quality, or, you know, yeah, originality yeah. on the third. In fact, yeah, that, that, that's a good point. Where would you like to see the series go with the next title? You know, where would you like to wow. see them take it? It's funny because <laughs> when really posed a question, unless I'm like, you know, trolling on the forum, I don't really know what to say now when it's an actual conversation. <laughs> but uh, I'm no, I mean, as far as like, we're, I, I, I think, you know, when you when you break it down, we all, you know, obviously love the game. Otherwise, you know, you wouldn't continually be talking about it for multiple years, even if you are pointing out the negative sides. Um, well, yeah, that's and it, really, it. it's been a, 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 a very good game, really, if you take it in and of itself. And uh, it was just like the launch, it was a little screwy, and then they have the multiplayer for 10 months, which is, you know, whatever. But really, you know, they've had a lot of continued support for the game for a couple of years, and even up until today. Um, so that's all good. It is, but I think it would be nice to see the series kind of go back to its roots and just focus on what made the game great, which was the skill involved in passing the you know more difficult tracks yeah, um, yeah. more driveline based and not as much about decor 
Um, although yeah, I, I suppose it, it doesn't hurt uh, me uh, if you're looking tracks. Yeah, I think you know? it's probably I mean, if, as far as yeah. Okay, yeah, I was just going to say I think that's probably. I would say that's probably difficult with uh, with us be actually on like a next generation console. Would you like to uh, finish off with uh, anything? Any sort of tips you want to give to the audience? Any bowlers, trashman? Before we sort of finish, builders, try players, you choose. Oh yeah, okay. You Let, decide. Let's say, it's, you uh, know, people who are yeah, uh, yeah. As far as getting better at the game, I mean, just I don't know. That's kind of I, I guess play a lot. <laughs> and, and, and don't do the same thing over and over and expect a different result. So try a different technique. Um, break it down. Stop when you get to certain points in tracks and not try to rush through things. Um, and then as far as building, definitely, I, I, I don't know, I wouldn't, I would definitely not try to advise people on the core necessarily. It's definitely not one of my, uh, not a strong point for me. Um, but just in okay, general, yeah, I think on building, I think, you know, bottom line, when you're, when you're adding things to tracks, you need to ask yourself, it sounds kind of funny, like it's from a movie, but does this really make the track any better? Yeah, and yeah. You probably yeah, come up advice. with the answer, no. Because a lot of times we get so wrapped up as like a builder and you're creating for yourself too. So if you enjoy it, that's fine. But if you're, say you, want, you don't want to spend that much time, you just want to create an effective decor and, you know, adding a million different, you know, things for detail, unless you just enjoy doing that, it usually doesn't, don't get me wrong, detail does make a track better and decor better. But sometimes it, it tends to get overboard. Or with animation, there are a few builders maybe that might enjoy it, and Red Links will enjoy it. So if your goal is to get a Red Links pick, <laughs> pick then, yeah, you, then keep yeah. doing that, you know. More so as far as uh, just functionality of a drive line. Like, you know, if a track doesn't function right, then decor is it's useless to me. You know, if, if, a, if a drive line is dull or has big difficulty spikes, it's probably not going to rate well, and that's – yeah. People, you know, like I think wonder they, they they take a lot of time to create a track with extensive decor and and a simple thing like not having enough light on your drive line, that's a problem. If you can't see the line, you're not going to play it again and you probably won't like the track. Now that is a, this is know, a so good point that you know, point basic, lights. basic things like be able to see your line. Don't, you know, don't be concerned with putting a tree in front of it so you're going behind the tree now and you know, all these wonky things, something that runs well. You know, keep it between 30 and 60 seconds yeah. and uh, ask yourself, do I want to play this? Is this addictive? You know, uh, is my drive line interesting? You know, no. but well, everybody has you know different takes on it. You like, you know, creating more wow factor scenes and stuff like that. And that's I, I love those, too. I just don't like taking the time. I believe it, you know, it's there, a there's mixture. no right or wrong on that It's one. a mixture, I suppose. Yeah, really. yeah, but, yeah. And build, I, yeah, build what you like. Build for yourself. Build what you enjoy definitely. building. Just don't expect it to rate well. If it <laughs> yeah, that's it. Right. You know, <laughs> be reasonable. You know what I mean? Anyway, so, okay. Yeah. Thank you for coming on the show, Vegas Trash. You know, all it's your my, help my, and my advice. Pleasure, Funk. My pleasure. You know what I mean? He's, I'm sure. You know, you, a lot of people will get a lot of sort of help. You know, from listening to your tips and you know maybe follow some of the uh, Trashman's advice, uh, the way he built and you know he's a skillful writer too. Well, that's about it. For this show, join us next time where we'll have another rider and or builder on the show for some trials talk. It's been a pleasure, guys. If you like the show, remember to slap a like on it, share it, and subscribe. And why not come on the show next time? Do you want to, you know, give your your voice to the trials talk? Then contact me. Thank you very much. Ta-da, guys. <laughs> <laughs>